Welcome to a new wall log. Today we're doing a teardown of this uh, electric desoldering pump which I showed in a previous mailbag video. This had a major flow when I powered it. Uh, in fact, I'm not gonna try to power it on again because I don't want all that smoke to fill up my lab again. So I'm just gonna overlay a video from the previous attempt uh, in the mailbag video. It was smoking pretty bad, smelling pretty bad. So some people said it's the mica insulation that's burning. So uh, it's best if we take a look inside to see what exactly was smoking and uh, how safe is it to use this. Now this having uh, no ground, you can imagine that if uh, the insulation of the wires inside burns away, there is the possibility of having a live wire getting in contact with the metal tip of the iron which would indeed be uh, very dangerous for the operator. Also, someone suggested in the comments that this particular model has no temperature regulation, so it, it gets pretty hot if you leave it on. So we'll see if we can check that too. Now to take this apart, uh, there is a mechanism here that you can use to uh, re remove the pump to clean it possibly. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB.com who in the past months upgraded their manufacturing line so they are now offering 24 hours turnaround time for prototype PCBs for the same price of just $2. Prototyping is now faster and cheaper than any other place so it's definitely worth checking them out. So let's put this aside. Then you have the option of uh, removing the tip I believe. Is this screwed? Yeah, this is screwed. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut these away because it looks like it needs to go out this way. Yeah, so someone also said this in the comments that the wires inside are not soldered, they are just uh, twisted together and it seems to be true. They were just twisted together then covered with uh, this type of um, insulation. This is a fiberglass braiding sleeve and uh, this stuff is normally rated for 200 uh, degrees Celsius but depending on the manufacturer, you could find ones with higher rating or just as well with a lower rating. The fibers used in this uh, braid uh, are held together with some kind of resin. Uh, as you can see, there is a glossy surface here. So there is some kind of uh, resin holding it uh, together. And that should also be heat resistance. But uh, it seems that in the case of uh, this insulation, uh, it's burning away. Let's see if this still holds together yeah it, it appears to still be uh, uh, okay on the on the inside it has just uh, burned the outside but uh, who knows what would happen if uh, this would be heated for for longer for sure there is a risk here because if uh, this insulation fails then we are left with the uh, bare wires which uh, yeah they were just twisted together exactly like uh, someone mentioned in the comments Yep, and the uh, inside of the tip is even worse. It's true that uh, they have a double insulation here. So they have this uh, thicker uh, insulation that burned away and it's uh, pretty crisp. Yeah, this is not uh, safe to use because it's already starting to burn the inner insulation. Like it might be safe to use it for uh, a couple of hours, but who knows? what might happen with uh, this insulation after many hours of usage. Now this stuff you see here is not the heating element because this would be in direct contact with the uh, metal shield. Uh, this is just a piece of wire holding everything wrapped together. The actual uh, heating wire is uh, beneath this uh, fiberglass insulation and uh, I'm surprised to see that this stuff which gets uh, the hottest has not been affected uh, as much as this uh, fiberglass insulation of the wires. So this stuff was definitely um, better 
and uh, it had a higher temperature uh, coefficient. Now one solution here would be to add earthing and uh, connect it to the metal parts of the iron so in case um, some of the insulation fails everything will short to ground tripping um, uh, ground protection devices in your house. However if the socket you are using uh, this iron with is not grounded then adding a ground will not help so it's best to also have good quality uh, insulation on everything that is live inside this iron so there is no possibility of um, the insulation failing over the lifetime of this iron so pretty much everything that uh, people um, said in the comments is true about this uh, iron uh, the insulation is burning away and is insufficient the live wires are just twisted together on the input of the iron and in general the lowest quality materials are used to build this iron so there is no wonder the price is so low someone commented and said there is a similar tool from a known manufacturer and i'm pretty sure that one is better built and it doesn't pose these uh, safety issues uh, our friends in china probably grabbed one of those uh, studied how it's built and then made this uh, cheap copy now after seeing how badly this thing is built i can only advise you to stay away from something like this it's uh, definitely uh, unsafe to use i'm glad someone uh, suggested in the comments that i should do a teardown of this iron because i had no intention of doing that but it's good that i did it because it revealed uh, the lowest quality possible so that was all for this video uh, i would appreciate if you'd hit that like button and let me know in the comments what you think about this iron thank you for watching i'll see you next week